and uh, some cardiac arrest can trauma play in this condition? Yes, there, there is a condition known as uh, commotio cordis. Um, it's rare. What occurs is that generally in adolescence, a blow to the chest, to the chest wall, and it doesn't have to be extremely forceful. It can be getting hit with a baseball or getting hit um, while sparring in, in karate. A blow to the chest at the split second right time or wrong time um, can cause a fatal arrhythmia to occur. Is this potential that happen to almost anybody? Really anybody is at risk for this, particularly it's in adolescents um, in where the um, chest wall is not fully developed and the muscles in the rib cage are not quite protecting the heart as it would be in someone who is more fully developed. Uh, if it happened and someone was an expert, could they save that person? If you were in a situation where someone had a blow to the chest and within seconds they collapsed, that would be a situation, a perfect situation for use of one of the AEDs, the automated uh, external uh, defibrillators. C but the, the normal CPR wouldn't be... CPR, wouldn't CPR, obviously, if, if, if one of these devices isn't there, CPR would be the, the next best, best thing to do. Um, however, um, really, the heart is fibrillating, and the best way to treat that is to defibrillate it with an electrical shock. So that's a very good reason to have these automatic defibrillators at sporting events and gyms and whatnot, because of the fact that the potential with almost anybody. Correct. And also what people are looking at is ways to um, prevent it. Um, one of the more common situations is in baseball, because it's the, the blow of a baseball hitting the chest. So the, the people who are particularly at risk are the pitchers, little league pitchers. Uh, they use metal bats, the ball com comes off fairly quickly, it can hit the child in the chest, and many people are recommending wearing, uh, particularly pitchers, um, wearing uh, heart guards, which are uh, protective. How big are these heart guards? Okay. Uh, there, are, there are different ones that different companies are making. Uh, some of them fit into a shirt, um, almost like what like uh, soccer... Type of thing? Yeah, almost what soccer goalies uh, wear with the built-in uh, padding, uh, and companies are looking into designing ones that are both effective, comfortable to wear, affordable, and uh, on the retail market there are several uh, out there that people can purchase. Uh, certainly uh, baseball pitchers and uh, karate sparring should... So any contact sport would be at risk too, wouldn't it? It's like so, hockey, boxing? Yes. Um, hockey, football, but those sports, the padding that is typically used, the shoulder guards generally come down to the point of uh, protecting the heart. Um, so, fo yes, football players, hockey players are at risk, but the padding that's typically worn in those sports is already protective, whereas uh, karate, where they're not wearing protective gear, or in baseball, other than the catcher, there's really no protection to the chest area. So, again, we go back, an automatic defibrillator display, including Little League, would be a very smart thing to do and a good investment. I, I feel so.